the surf's up. Maybe not for that last dude. Anyway, you got to have a little fun with this every once in a while. You know, sometimes uh, we'd be serious, sometimes not so serious. But today, and this is Greg with Lion Quest Fitness, we're going to talk about a gun I've been wanting to get my hands on for a while, and that is the Taurus 82. Now this video was a hard one to shoot because obviously Taurus 82, it uh, just asks for comparisons to the Model 10. Now this Model 10 is 2008. It has the one-piece barrel, round butt. Now this is square butt. And one day I would shoot better with the Model 10. The next day I would shoot better with the 82. Let me show you this. Now this is from 15 yards doing a combination of kneeling and standing uh, while I'm shooting with a speed load in between. As you see, I tended to get tighter groups with the Model 10. However, I noticed that uh, I tended to get more center line with the uh, Taurus 82. So sometimes I would shoot better with the 82. Now, differences. The 82 has a much smoother trigger pull than the Model 10. It also, it's a heavier gun. This is 37 ounces compared to 35.5 ounces. And you know, weight is a factor in accuracy. Now, this also has a, um, a cold spring as opposed to the leaf spring that Smith & Wesson has. Now, some other differences, you know, nowadays, uh, Smith & Wesson mostly goes with the round grip with their revolvers and Taurus is still using the square butt. Uh, they have the shroud underneath the ejector rod. Also, the transfer bar system is a little bit different. It's more similar to Ruger's than Smith & Wesson. Now, which one do I prefer? Well, you know I love accuracy in a handgun, but this is more concealable. It's more maneuverable for me, especially at close quarters. So I'm on a stick, plus I love the bluing. Uh, it looks so much better. So for me, it's gonna be the Model 10. Now one of the drawbacks of the 82 is, is the finish. You know, these finishes, do, this matte black, they do not hold up. It's been my experience and the experience of others, especially for daily carry. In fact, I lent a buddy of mine a, in fact, I gave it to him, a Taurus P, uh, PT-92. And uh, he carried it religiously for over two years. And it, it wore in a Kydex holster. And he had it over here shooting the other day. And the finish was uh, in horrible shape. And I've had other people, especially in, like here in South Carolina, parts of Texas, you know, Louisiana, places with high humidity, and you're carrying uh, the Taurus uh, handguns, you know, that matte black does not hold up at all. However, this would make a, a good duty gun for certain types of security work. I mean, you can shoot plus P all day out of this gun and, you know, you're not going to damage it in any way, shape, form, or fashion. Um, it could make a good truck gun, a car gun, if you, were, if you choose to do something like that. A tackle box gun, a shop gun. You know, one that uh, you don't have to, uh, a gun that's not going to be high maintenance. That uh, you can get it to it and it's grab and go. Although, you do need to oil it periodically and uh, if you shoot it, you definitely need to clean it. Now, price wise, for a new firearm, you're going to pay $325 to uh, $350 for this gun. Whereas, if you buy the Smith & Wesson, classic <laughs> Model 10, which is the same configuration with the, some small differences as this gun, you're going to pay about $700 for it. Now, if you don't want to go to Taurus, that's fine. You know, I like Taurus. In fact, as far as J-frames uh, J or small size revolvers, I like the Taurus 605 over the Smith & Wesson uh, J-frames. Alright, but 
If you want to find a deal or a bargain, do like I do. Go to pawn shops. You know, their inventory is constantly changing. I bought this, well, I actually bought it at a, gun, a small gun, mom and pop gun store. Uh, I got this one for $500, all right? And that's a little bit easier to swallow. And, and it was in very good condition. So this is Greg with uh, LionQuest Fitness reminding you we train so that we develop that self-discipline and self-confidence that we never have to use, hopefully, our training.